and welcome to Grassroots Television. I am Chiazo Angela, reporting in Owina Road, Benin City, Edo State. Owina Road is a road linking Owege and Ago, and by extension to Ebotubu. The road is behind the Kenwa Campus, University of Benin. And the road now, it's in a very deplorable state. As you can see, the road, it's nothing to write home about. Though the government, they've started work on it. But as it is now, it is no longer motorable compared to what it was before. Now we're here to get people's opinion concerning the road. Flood has been an issue on the rise in Nigeria due to the state of poor roads and poor drainage systems. Over the years, so many houses have been submerged in it and it has left so many people homeless. Homeowners are forced to evacuate their homes. This is a major road in Benin City called Owina Road, which has over time turned to a mini river and it has been spreading gradually into residential areas. Whenever it rains heavily, the people here are always prepared to face the outcome of the heavy downpour. Most of the bushes here were once residential buildings, but it has now turned to mini river due to the effects of the flood. Those living along this road have been crying to government to come help fix the road to avoid more houses collapsing and eventually making the occupants homeless. Their cry has gotten to the ears of the government and they have started working on the road, but it seems that the work has been paused due to the incessant rainfall which is disrupting the work. When we spoke with some of the residents, they were delighted about the development, but some said that the rate at which the work is is going on is slow and also the pattern of work is not too good because the drainage system just started from the middle and not from the beginning which is not supposed to be so my view is that the government really if they really want to do this road they can do it but my problem is that they will just start it and they will not complete it just like the way it is now dry season they didn't come and do it and now it's just rainy season and then when 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 they just come they come with old machines it's not anything to talk about the road because when there is no road there will be no way out so we are begging and pleading the government because we don't really know because the water is almost carrying everywhere so that they should hasten to do this thing most especially to get a gutter leak to the to the river without that i don't think there is a way out well we thank the state government they have been doing many things for this state we will beg the state government to come and help us for this road this is winner for the book water we beg the state government to come and help us to repair this road so that this road will be more terrible so now i can watch we don't know where we are going to and there's many houses there that is soaking with water now. You can see it now. There's flood everywhere now. It's not motorable again. We hope the work would be completed soon to help curb the effects of flooding and also prevent more houses from collapsing. We also plead that the government should also look into other major roads and streets. We've gotten the opinion of the people concerning the road and they are of the view that the government should hasten up the construction work going on in this road so as to make it more motorable and easier for people coming all the way from Argo, Ewotubu and heading to Ring Road. I am Chiazo Angela reporting for GTV.